welcome to Happiness is Healthy. It's Stephanie, your happiness enhancer. And I thought today we could talk about persistent negative thoughts. Do you have negative thoughts that your brain just keeps on thinking over and over again? I have. That's why I've worked so hard at Happiness is Healthy. Yeah, because I want to be the boss of my mind, not just have my mind thinking stuff that I don't want to be thinking about. Yeah, like, you know, because my dad died when I was 15 and a half, and he, he wasn't, like, sick, and then he died. It was just, like, he was well, and he was dead. So it was quite shocking for me at 15. So I have a repetitive negative thought ever since then that, you know, like, everybody's going to die. Like, you know, if Robert's a little bit late or uh, anything, uh, it, my brain immediately thinks, Oh, someone's dead. The phone rings at a weird time, too late at night, too early in the morning. My immediate thought is somebody died, right? Well, how do we fix those repetitive negative thoughts, right? Um, so what I do to fix my repetitive negative thoughts is I kind of like make a joke with myself now. And so when myself says, oh, maybe somebody died and tries to strike that fear, my ego talking, right? I say, you know, can't you, like, make up a new story? You've been trying to scare me with that story since I was, like, 15, 16, right? And I'm now, that's almost 40 years ago, like, so I'd like my ego to make up a new thing, at least for me to be scared of or something, you know, and the same old thing, it's kind of predictable. But, yeah, so I just um, take control of my mind and I say, you know, that's not true, that's just an old tape. And I just want to be prepared for if people die so I never have that much pain again. That's all about protecting ourselves, right? Everything our brain does is to protect us. Yeah, but I want to live from my heart. Yeah, and listen to my heart. Not just my head, but listen to my heart too. So, that means I have to think more and feel more and pay attention. And really listen to my... Um, my intuition when it speaks. So that, because then I know that I'm following my bliss. Yeah. I want to live from my heart and be happy every moment. Because just being happy, you know, a little bit, that's not enough for me. I want to enjoy everything. I want to enjoy when my loved ones are healthy and I want to enjoy when they're sick. Why do I have to be sad then when they're sick? Then I got two problems. I got, you know, a heart full of sadness, and I got a sick person to deal with. So I just try to see everybody as being on their perfect path to their perfect healing, because death is success, right? I mean, for years I used to think death equals failure, because my dad died when I, you know, like I said, and I felt really um, lonely and abandoned, yeah. And so, for me to feel better... I have to think up a better story and really reaffirm that this life is beautiful and to, um, how would you say, just appreciate everything. Be thankful for everything. If I stub my toe, I'd be thankful. I used to even be thankful when my ex-husband would slap me around because I, my reflexologist mentor, who was my inspiration, said to be thankful for everything. So... I just try to be thankful now that my dad died because, you know what, I have a great sense of life and death and I appreciate people and I just do my best to love them and, you know, try to get them to appreciate themselves and say nice things to themselves. Because I really think affirmations work. I've said, you know, I think before I act or speak. I think before I act or speak. Calmness is the most beautiful jewel of wisdom. Yeah, calmness is the most beautiful jewel of wisdom. I read books that inspire me to be a better person so that I can know how better people are. Because if I just looked at the people who were around me, I saw a lot of complainers and angry people and womanizers. And uh, yeah, so just love yourself and be gentle with yourself. And say nice things to yourself, because you're a beautiful spiritual being in a beautiful human form. I love you. Have a great day.